everyone, Tony here for the Civ Sim Channel. Welcome back to another exciting War Thunder arcade video. I'm your host, Tony, for the Civ Sim Channel. And uh, we're taking up the uh, mighty Italians. Yes, we are taking up nothing but the Italians, uh, the uh, Flogglers, the uh, early um, low tier Italians. Um, now, uh, the the uh, footage you're seeing right now is uh, some stock footage. I really, really meant to get this out uh, a long time ago. This is back when I was doing the challenge for the uh, TB3 um, uh, bomber, uh, and I just never got a chance to get it out, so I'm finally getting it out now. I'm going to attack this guy. Come on. Come on. Am I going to get him? Am I going to get guy hit on him? Let's see what I can do. It's been so long, I don't even remember what I did. Uh, with this, but uh, without further ado, let's get into the action as I talk about the Italians and uh, we take this guy. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. Hit. Crit. Is it going down? Yes. Alright. Oh, and I also failed to mention we're also going to be doing a realistic battle after this so you can skip forward uh, if you want that realistic gameplay. Now, am I gonna go for him? Uh, that BF 109 is a tad high. I gotta make it. Nah. Let's see here. Ah, oh, JU87. I think I'm gonna go for him. Alrighty, Mr. JU87. Prepare to meet your maker. And. Let's see there. What the? That's Ooh. A bad idea. Oops. Well, that didn't go as planned. Do you 7D? What type is that one? Oh, he got lucky. And I got a little too cocky. He got lucky and I got cocky. <laughs> ah. Alright, MC202. Alrighty, Mr. Buffalo, prepare to meet your mother. Oh, never mind. Maneuvers here. Alright, where is that guy? Oh, make three, huh? Don't see him though. Where is he? I don't see him on the radar. Oh, there he is. There's that JU87 again. I might be able to get that, uh... Got a hit. Come on. There we go. Come on, crash, crash. Come on, just crash, just crash. Come on. Or not. Three, two. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on, go down, go down. Go down, go down, come on. Yay, there we go. All right. 
next victim. Kill for a kill, eh? <laughs> Might have been the same guy who shot me down. Oh well. Didn't really go for revenge, was just going for the kill. Revenge or not. Alright, two kills. Eight more to go. Alright, next victim. Boxes. Oh, team's losing actually. What? Two kills. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go for three. Oh, Alcher. Let's go for a ground target just in case we lose. Oh, Kai 10, I'll get you in a second. Assist. All right. Cause that wing is making it a little bit harder. I get that tracer ahead of me or ahead of him so that way he uh, flies into uh, the ammo yep oh, but doesn't want to float it's too damaged oh dear okay come on there we go Black oh, that's not helping at all. Okay, that guy's down. Oh. oh, my engine's gonna go soon. This might be one of those times where I just have to repair. Hmm. Or is the base, anyhow. Okay, so we're heading for it. Mm. Oh, and that's the game. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked that uh, arcade panel. And now uh, we're going to take the uh, Flogler, um, Flogler, however you pronounce it, uh, this uh, wonderful Italian plane, uh, up into the uh, skies in a realistic, formerly known as historical battle. We're going to see uh, how it uh, handles, so let's do this and uh, get into the action. I will be uh, skipping just a little bit um, and, and making a transition here from the runway uh, to the action because uh, one of the things with realistic battles is that it does take a quite a long time uh, to uh, get into the uh, action. Uh, but uh, through the miracle of TV editing or video editing, I should say this isn't on TV. Eh, you might be watching it on TV. I don't know. Uh, you might be watching it on an iPhone. I don't know. Maybe you're not watching it at all by this point. Maybe only one or two of you and most of you left because the beginning wasn't as interesting. I mean, hey, only two kills in an arcade. Well, that's not that interesting. But uh, for most players, that tends to be an average. Uh, and in realistic battles as well. In fact, realistic battles, it's more common that you'll get two kills. Although it's not uncommon for a very, very good player to get five kills occasionally. Although a lot of times those five kills include the bots. And let's see, using a lot of speed here, lots of enemies there. Now, I'm not going to turn in. I'm going to loop around here. Keep that speed, at least some of that speed. Um, my goodness, lots of them down there. Oh, right, I forgot I'm the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Germans using that speed advantage. Oh, nope. Oh, that was close. Okay, pulling up again. 
I'm going to make a little mistake here. I'm turning instead of looping. Uh, let's see here. Who do I want? Uh, maybe that guy in the lag. Is, there a, is that a lag? Uh, no, it's a Dauntress. Ah, oh, a Dauntress uh, attacker. Uh, sea bomber. Come on. Yeah, man. I, I really like the... Oh, he's on fire. He's critical. He's, uh, he's on fire. He's going down. Yeah, that's fire effect. Oh, is he going down? Maybe not. Come on. There we go. He's dead. All right, next victim. Uh, let's see. That guy want to do a head-on with me? Oh, he's a Blenheim. Mm, I think I'm going to turn away from that guy. Um, Blenheim versus this guy is probably not good. Oh, ooh. And lots of enemies over here. Let's see. Go, go for the. Uh, let's see. What is that? Ah, hurricane. Mark one. Okay. Yep. Got a hit. Oh, and someone's on me. That's not good. Took a little hit there. Oh, or I think that might have been AA actually. Not sure. Oh, got another hit. Ew, but I'm not in good position here. Ooh. Is that the same guy? I think so. Let's see here. Oh! Guy on assist. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Lots of enemies around here. This is not a good situation. Uh, but when you're in a situation like this, you do want to be careful, but you always want to... Uh, teamwork is key, and if not teamwork, at least being with, um, well, no, teamwork is key. Even if you're not communicating um, uh, to the chat or if you're not in a squad, always try and stay um, uh, with your friendlies, uh, uh, you know, with your teammates as much as possible. Because that's what they're there for. When you work as a team, you're more likely to win um, and survive the fight another day. Um, or be able to do as I'm doing right now and uh, returning to uh, base like what that JU-88 is doing. Um, excuse me there. But yeah, he's um, returning to base just like I am. As uh, and, and you know, you gotta know when it's time to quit when you've got critical damage uh, like this, a black wing, a red wing. Uh, my, especially with the lower tier um, uh, aircraft, you're not, ooh. I'll be. Well, that guy just left. It looks like I'm at the. You know, I, I I'm an average player. I always like to say that I'm not a good player, but uh, sometimes these stats, it's like. Uh, and I know some um, players always say this that you know who are on YouTube who put the videos up. You know, it, it, uh, oh, I'm in second now or third, I should say. But you know, um, you know. When you're playing this game, you know, you get a lot of average players and you do really well, but they're just average player. They're no, no, by no means uh, great players. Um, and, uh, you know, every game you're going to have a game that sucks and a game where you're great, you're just going to be average. You know, very rarely do you have consistent, you know, 10, 20 kill streaks. You definitely don't have 10, 20 kill streaks. Uh, in uh, realistic battles. Now you see what I'm doing right here. Oh, not sure what I did that loop there. I guess I was testing my uh, uh, You wouldn't want to do that in a regular plane But I mean I'm trying to when I was uh, moving left to right in those s turns I was trying to slow my plane down. I'm bringing down my flaps lowering my engine So I don't want to crash uh, Let's see. I think that ju 88 is and made it safely. I think he did So now we're going to uh, land uh, but yeah, most players are average, uh, and have average games, and that's why I put these up. Uh, if I could, if it wasn't already taken, I'd say my name was the average gamer. Uh, and now we're gonna make a, a little bit of a average pilot landing here, although I'm sure most pilots would be complaining about those trees over there, which should not be there. Okay, we're on final now. Up, he came in a little too fast and crash landed. There we go, and we bounce a little, that's okay, and I think, yep, we're down, and a big 
thing about this is trying to stop without getting the nose over. Can I do that? No. Come on. Stay up. Stay up. No, no, no. Oh, whoops. Ah, well. That happens. Oh. The, uh, uh, prop kissing asphalt landing. Uh, not a good thing. But, then again, many planes have done that, so many props. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because uh, I watch a lot of World War One and World War Two. Well, not World War One, but a lot of World War uh, Two videos. And uh, there's always, especially on the carriers, you're always seeing a plane that uh, goes uh, nose up. And it, it just goes to show how um, forward heavy uh, the aircraft is in weight. Alrighty, we've now been repaired and we're about ready to go. I th oh, there's that JU-88 he also repaired. And uh, there's an HE-112 over there. Another great uh, aircraft for the Germans. And one of the things that I really hope... Uh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think the Italians ever had you know, a very good line of aircraft or jets or anything. But it would be nice to see some more advanced jets. But then again, during the war... You know, the Italians, uh, well, the Italians are very interesting because the Italians in World War One uh, were with the Allies. Then, of course, Mussolini, uh, during um, the revolution, happened at the time when ideology started to uh, be a, a, a big thing, when uh, kings and everything was being replaced by well, either democracies or dictatorships. And uh, Italy went uh, to the autocratic dictatorship with um, Mussolini. And um, so uh, during Mussolini's rule, uh, Italy was uh, with uh, Germany. So um, they stopped making aircraft like this beauty. And I mean, look at that beautiful cockpit. Um, Gaijin really does a good job uh, with these aircraft. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, Italy went and joined uh, with Hitler, uh, true Mussolini. And uh, for most of the war until it was obviously taken over by the... Uh, Allies, and then uh, what most people don't know, but actually did happen, is that uh, the new Italian government actually joined the Allies and uh, went to uh, war uh, against Germany. Uh, and of course, then using uh, Allied planes. Oh, history there. And, uh, you know, it's always interesting with these realistic battles. Uh, how it kind of imitates more realistic fighting. Uh, you know, if you die in this plane, you can't, it's like you actually would fly, um, you know, uh, in history. Um, you know, if the plane crashes, well, you're dead. You don't just, you know, get to respawn and the flight models are more realistic. So, uh, realistic really is a very uh, good uh, type game. If you can get over the boredom of uh, flying for 10, 15 minutes, um, doing, well, absolutely nothing and um so um yep now of course uh, the uh, old group work is coming in here talking about uh, grouping at a there's that ju-88 i'm flying high again you always want to try and have an altitude advantage because you can have speed although you don't want to be too too high because well if no one's at a very high altitude and you're at the high altitude but you've just wasted a lot of time climbing. And most of that energy and speed advance is just going to go away when you dive. So you have to kind of know where they're at and, and uh, get an idea. Generally for low tier games like this, you're going to be at low altitudes. Uh, when you gain games with LA-5s and Falker Wolves, those are going to be your high tier battles. I definitely see it. most of those who play LA-5s tend to go quite high. Um, for some reason, I believe it's because the LA-5 is a good climber. I'm not sure. I think it is. Yeah, four ropes and LA-5, very, very similar um, uh, late uh, prop era uh, fighters. And uh, just uh, scouting over here. Again, trying to keep uh, the tide or turn the tide on this uh, game. Again, it can always go back and forth. And one or two players can make a, all the difference in a game. Let's see, 13 enemy units. Uh, we only have 11 of our ground forces. Let's see, where are they? Again, I probably wouldn't want to be in a plane like... Well, maybe, I'm not sure. Is this a fully open cockpit? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm thinking it's a... 
Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Well, then this wouldn't be that bad of a plane. Then. I'm thinking if this was fully open cockpit, I might not like it. So I'm just uh, flying high and giving that JU-88 air cover, uh, hoping um, that you either A, take out the uh, ground units for me and win the game, or just bait the other guys so I can just uh, drop down and kill them. And looks like, uh, oh, the both, uh, uh, not uh, both, but the, um, the, uh, the, uh, whatever that was, uh, crashed. Probably landing. And we are getting awfully close to their base. Oh, no, bombing points. But we are heading towards their base, which is never a good thing. You never want to, um, especially if you have more, um, I see there's their base over there. You never want to go towards your base, um, if you have more than, uh, one or two enemies left, that's never a good idea. In fact, it's always a good idea to just have them come to you, uh, and to your base, so that way you've got AA cover over yourself, um, which is quite powerful, and, oh, I think someone's got the drop on me, I think, so someone's shooting at me, or do I see the, uh, radar bloop, anyhow, ah. Uh, do some evasive maneuvers here. Yep, there it is. Again, evasive maneuvers. You always want to uh, move and uh, evade as best you can. Yep, there's... I can see it now. Yep, he's on me. Again, once they're on you, it's never a good thing. Oh, come in. And pulling as hard as you can. Want to... Try to fly by the trees. You want to make yourself as hard of a target as you can. Pull aggressively. You know, do, uh, you know roll over. Do S curves. Do whatever you can. Um, just uh, make it hard for them. Um, to get here again. I did have some speed on him. So again, I'm retreating to friendly territory and trying to keep the distance for myself. Uh, there he is. Now this is not necessarily the brightest idea. Yep. Uh oh, he's got a friend. That's never a good thing. I think this is gonna be the end for me pretty soon. Yep, there's that hurricane. Up, oh, critical. That's not good. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Up, oh, and yeah. Well, you can't win them all. And I think that's going to be the game. Well, until next time, everyone, this is Tony for the Surf Sim Channel. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and my commentary. Hopefully, I didn't bore you to death. And um, I'll have more archival footage uh, coming up soon. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.